Hello, this is Sanad here, and welcome back to Spider-Man Week. Today we're on Day 5, the fifth figure in the Marvel Legends Infinite series, Spider-Man Wave. Today we'll be taking a look at the deadliest foes, Beetle. Alright, so here we have Beetle. Beetle is a Spider-Man character that appeared sometime between 2006 and now in Warranted an Action Figure. I know nothing about this character. I could do research, but I don't really care to because this is kind of a rare inclusion. It's obscure, and hardcore Spider-Man fans that have been keeping up with the comics outside of the TV series probably know who this guy is. I'm not one of those, and so I don't know who he is, nor boomerang his variant. But I got him at 30% off at a closing Kmart, so I'm not going to complain too much. It was worth it for the Green Goblin leg. That being said, he's in the standard comic series packaging, so it says Deadliest Foes on here, because both Beetle and Boomerang, which seem like ripoffs of Blue Beetle and Captain Boomerang from DC, are there. Unable to defeat the Spider-Man alone, the most fiendish villains unite to battle the wall crawler. Well, that's not generic. Anyways, we're going to take a look at Beetle now, purely as an action figure and not as a character, because I know nothing about the character. Anyways, without further ado, let's take a look at Beetle. So here is Beetle out of packaging. And strictly from an action figure perspective, this guy is actually pretty cool. Sadly, he's more interesting and unique than Electro, which is a character I actually know things about. That being said, he is a red and silver mechanical beetle man. Looks like a beetle. He's got beetle wings. He's red, which is why he's totally not a ripoff of Blue Beetle. And overall, looks pretty cool. Uh, minor complaints, though. Paint bleed from the old eyes. Yikes. And uh, there's plastic that shouldn't be there on the shoulder that I can't get out. Yeah, that sucks. Also, yeah, where's the rest of the paint that should be there? Anyways, that being said, all things aside, a pretty good action figure. Um, again, knowing nothing about the character gives me no emotional attachment to it, so I can judge it harshly and not feel bad. But neck articulation is the standard that we've seen. Shoulder articulation is the standard that we've seen. The bicep rotation is a standard we've seen. Double jointed elbows, which is a standard we've seen. Wrist articulation with a pivot, standard we've seen. Ab crunch that clicks forward this time, but does not go back because of wings. Waist articulation, hips, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ankle pivot, ankle tilt, and there you go. His wing pack also comes off, but his ab crunch doesn't go back any further. And overall, he's well detailed, has a lot of new uh, molding on him, like these gauntlet things that I completely threw out of frame. And overall, is a pretty unique little action figure. The only issue is this character is so obscure, I, I have no idea who he is. But that being said, I, I, I do say that he is nice. Um, and overall, he's pretty cool. And I think that if I knew who this character was, I would like this figure a lot more. But since I don't, he's just going to do that awkward punching pose that he's doing now. And that's pretty much it. I, I can't really say any more, unfortunately. Um, sorry to cut this review kind of short. But overall, that's Beetle. I can definitely recommend him uh, if you are collecting this wave of figures. Because he does come with the left leg of the Green Goblin, and overall is a decent action figure. He's really cool looking, and you never know when you need a robotic beetle for something. Maybe he can be a Kamen Rider villain for one of my posting montages or something. But other than that, I really can't say much more about Beetle. So definitely recommend it if you like the character, um, or if you like Boomerang more, get the Boomerang variant. I've seen both about equally. Uh, neither of them are really flying off the shelves. And 
stay tuned as tomorrow we'll look at a figure that's a lot more interesting to me because I actually know the context of what we're looking at. So anyways, stay tuned for that. Be sure to check out HeroTaka.com for all your Marvel news and more. And thanks to Sound saying, goodbye.